What's going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. I released my Michael Fisher slash Mr. Mobile interview. If you have not seen it, I will have it so you can click on it at the end of this video. But it was a very good interview, or at least I felt it was. Very nice to catch up with him. We did an interview six months ago on why he left Pocket Now, and this was kind of an interview on uh, what it's been like to turn into Mr. Mobile, what the transition's been like. So make sure you check it out if you haven't. He's an awesome, fun guy to talk to. Let's get into the tech news, guys. The LG G6, they sent out an invite to prospective websites such as like Fandroid and Android Central and all these other websites with a date of February 26, which is when Mobile World Congress will come out. And it looks like that's when the LG G6 will be announced is on February 26th, which is only about a month, a little over a month away right now from when we should know more about the LG G6. And also, as you can see from renders from case manufacturers, it actually doesn't look too, too bad as a phone. You can see it has, definitely has more bezel than what the new Galaxy S8 will have, but it doesn't look that bad. And you can see on the back, it's got the fingerprint sensor with the uh, the G on the bottom and then the two cameras, I guess, at the top. So it looks decent. Does it look as cool as the Galaxy S8? No, but it's an LG G6 and people that like LG phones will probably like this phone as well. Next up, we have a release date of some sort for Super Mario Run on Android. As you know, it's already out on iPhone. You can buy it. You've been able to buy it for about a month now, if not longer than that. It's $9.99 or you can play the first few levels for free. Well, it looks like March 2017, so not the next month, but the month after, we will be able to play Super Mario Run on our Android phones for the cool price of most likely to be $9.99, and I assume they'll probably do the same thing where you get a couple of levels for free that you can try the game out on. I'm excited to play it on an Android phone. I tried it on the iPhone, and it was nice. It's not the same thing as what you're used to with most Mario games because it's really just um, a game where it just automatically runs and you're just tapping on the screen to make it jump. So it's not as cool as a regular Mario game, but the, I mean, to have the franchise Mario on your phone, I mean, five or 10 years ago, you probably would have never thought that would happen. It's actually come to fruition and we're only a couple months away now to be able to play this on our Android devices. And lastly, the biggest news story of the day. This comes from Sam Mobile. It's an exclusive on their site. They're talking about Bixby being built in to the Galaxy S8 camera software. Now, we kind of know that Bixby is going to be built into a lot of the internal apps that Samsung creates for this new Samsung device, but this one's actually pretty cool. It's going to work the same way Google Goggles did, if you ever tried Google Goggles, where you take a picture of a device and it will identify the device, uh, whatever you took a picture of, and it will, uh, one of the cool things that Bixby's gonna do, it's gonna allow you to be able to purchase that device at a store. I don't know if it's gonna be just Amazon or anywhere on the internet, but it's gonna identify the device and tell you a little bit more of what you took a picture of, but also be able to, like I said, allow you to purchase the device uh, so that you can buy that anywhere. So you'll, for instance, hold up your phone and take a picture of, say, a bag of chips and it's gonna identify that bag of chips. It's gonna tell you where you can buy that bag of chips, maybe calorie intake, I don't know. All kinds of cool information with it, and uh, it's gonna take a little bit of the guesswork out for you when you're taking a picture of something that you might not know either where to buy it or what it's all about. So I like that integrating the, the assistant that they're creating uh, for Samsung and allowing you to smartly Use your camera with it and other, it's gonna identify text within it. Same way Google Goggles. It's gonna be almost, I guess, identical to what Google Goggles is, but it's gonna be Samsung's version of it. So I have high hopes for it, hoping that uh, it actually is something usable and something that I'll wanna use all the time. Some, a lot of times Samsung makes these software um, uh, improvements, if you wanna call them improvements, and uh, sometimes they're wonky and wacky and they don't really, you don't need it. Like, you know, we already have, for instance, we do already do have Google Assistant built into most phones right now, and they're coming in with their own, and hopefully it's just different or integrated better than how Google has theirs built in, so otherwise we're just getting the same thing as what we had before. They had their own messaging app, but there was also a Google one. They had their own browser, but then there was Chrome. It's like, enough of these doubled up apps. I really hope this is where Samsung 
uh, go, takes it to another level and allows us to be able to uh, make Bixby a necessary part of having a Samsung device so that it makes it better and more usable. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do this every single day, one in the morning, one at night. Uh, I released, like I said earlier in this video, I released my Michael Fisher, Mr. Mobile interview. So make sure you check that out. I'll link it on the screen and I will also link it down below if you can't see that. Uh, my product of the day is Pick yourself up some Levi's 513s on Amazon. They're as little as $16.90. Very cheap price, Levi's. Who doesn't like Levi's? Come on. My question of the day. What do you think about this integration with Bixby inside of the camera? Do you think it's a rip off of Google Goggles? Do you think it's cool? Do you think you'll end up using it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Do not forget to subscribe if you don't already. I will see you down the road. Peace.